You are listening to the ultimate truth, a lesson to be learned. The history of Israel teaches us a tremendous lesson. Those who believe in Jesus Christ are the new Israel. And when you love and obey God, you too will receive all the blessings promised by God as we heard so far. Firstly, the children of Israel killed the Passover lamb and applied its blood on the doorpost and lintels of their houses. When the angel of God passed by, wherever there was blood found, there was no death. Thus, the Israelites were safe. But the Egyptian houses had no blood, so every firstborn of man and beast was struck dead. And there was great cry all over Egypt. Now, we are the new Israel. Our Passover lamb is Jesus Christ. Jesus shed his entire blood for the mankind. Pharaoh is in the place of Satan. We, the people, had been bound by Satan for thousands of years. Neither government nor any religion could set us free. No philosophy could do anything for us. Then the Lamb of God came from heaven. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus walked on this very earth 2020 years ago. He did miracles and wonders. Finally, the Lamb of God, Jesus was slain when the appointed time came. His blood has great power to wash away all your sins. When we apply that blood on the doorpost of our heart and lintels of our forehead, no destroyer can strike us. No plague can come to our house. No spiritual death can happen. We are safe and secure under the blood of the Lamb. I compare the blood of Jesus as the powerful sanitizer, the corona COVID time. We all use sanitizer, but Jesus' blood is more powerful than the sanitizer. Jesus' blood can wash away any grave sin in your life as well. You must ask him to forgive your sins and wash all your sins by his precious blood, and he will do it. It is done by faith. It is by grace and through faith that you are saved. When you do this in faith, God will forgive your sins, and after your death, he will take you to a beautiful place called heaven, or else you will perish and go to a horrible place called hell. Many of the Israelites perished likewise during their wilderness journey. Secondly, the Israelites ate the flesh of the lamb roasted in fire as God commanded them to do. And what happened, you know? Their blind eyes were opened. Their deaf ears were opened. The crippled started walking. Tremendous healing power was released to the children of Israel. So when they came out of Egypt, there was none feeble or weak among them. They were strong and healthy people. Similarly, Jesus' body was broken for us in order to give us healing through his stripes. Jesus' blood was shed for the forgiveness of our sins. That is the inner healing. His body was broken for the healing of our sickness. That is physical healing. Thirdly, the Israelites asked the Egyptians for silver, gold, and other valuables. They gave them willingly. Thus, they came out of Egypt, not as pauper or poor people, but as rich people. So also, Jesus became poor for us in order to make us rich. Jesus has promised his followers a hundredfold in this life and eternal life in the life to come. So there is due reward in following Christ. Fourthly, these lives were delivered from death, slavery, and Pharaoh through the Lamb's blood. In the same way, Jesus said to his followers that he is the resurrection and life, and those who believe in him, even if he dies, he will live forever in heaven. There is no second death or hell for those who believe and live for Jesus Christ. Dear friends, if an ordinary lamb could deliver these lives from sin, sickness, poverty, slavery, and death, then how much more can the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, save you and all of you from your dead works, problems, 
troubles and bondages. Think about it, dear friends. Your religion cannot take you to destiny. Your good works cannot save you. Your family or friends cannot give you moksha. Your charitable deed cannot take you to heaven. But only Jesus' blood can wash away all your sins and give you everlasting life. You will read in detail. You will hear in the following days. God bless you.